check one two three check one two three check one two three i think we're pretty fucking gucci dog bro when you eat out is the only thing you're really eating right now chipotle or do you eat like waba or flame or stuff like that do you dive into that or no i'll dive into waba but Not i don't flame? Or flame broiler, yeah. I just yeah. haven't gone ever since. I just go to Chipotle. I think it's so oh, gotcha. much easier. Dude, Chipotle doesn't miss. I will say that Waba flame broiler sometimes it misses. How though? Like as location, in flavor? Because location oh. matters. Because they're privately owned, I believe, mm -hmm. or like you can franchise them, which I think you could with Chipotle. But they're way more strict on like the food, the rice, everything is like to the T everywhere you go. At Chipotle. Correct. Yeah. You go to Waba sometimes like. They don't give a shit, bro. <laughs> like, they don't care. Yeah, that's the why chicken is like all oh, like not, it's not the same. It's like this is a, what the, what's going on. Rice is all like sticky. You, you know what's crazy? Though? Like I love Chipotle. I can't eat it every day to yeah. be honest because sometimes I don't want to cook. That's the thing. That's why I go eat Chipotle because I don't want to cook. Mm -hmm. And you can still hit your macros with Chipotle. I can still hit my macros. Sodium is probably a little higher, but yeah but i don't really worry too much about sodium. No, nah, me honestly, I really either. don't. Not anymore. Yeah, you used to. Because it causes a lot of like inflammation yeah so when i was like a little chubbier i don't want to be i don't want to be like In, inflamed inflamed and being <laughs> a chubby, chubby. Inflamer. yeah <laughs> so but now that i lost weight like sodium doesn't really do much to me yeah, anymore yeah. you know you do, you're right though you do retain water you always say you retain water from mm -hmm. it um and even when you're leaner though that's when you can really see it too because when you're lean you're used to being like tight and stuff like that if you take more sodium than you normally do you could feel the little like the pudge yeah like the pudge starts yeah. taking in like even like with like um i don't worry about soda bro like sodas like this sometimes i feel like it really nah, you get the pudge no nah, i don't get the pudge i get the pudge on like food like that yeah i do too you know when i started or alcohol, noticing alcohol 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 is my Ooh. number one pudger my number one pudger is uh chick-fil-a chick-fil-a sodium i don't know bro i think they overload it with the sodium oh for sure i eat like a chicken sandwich and i eat just a, it probably has a lot sandwich. of sugar too probably does because yeah. the pudge is real wasn't it like a thing where it's like there was like a thousand ingredients into a fucking spicy deluxe sandwich yeah, it's bomb was. though. Oh my god, there's so thousand good. ingredients of goodness. Yeah, they're so good. <laughs> so good. Um, can I? Um, can we turn me up a little bit, bro? Because I yeah, think yeah. remember we had it down from yeah. the video that we did. That's a, that, that's way too loud, dog. You not? You. Or wanna... A little bit lower. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. A little, a little bit higher. A little bit lower. A little bit higher. A little bit lower. <laughs> that's good. Is that great? That's, dude, that's perfect. Okay. Can we like super glue that since I'm permanent now? Like, yeah, dude, nobody touch that knob. Dude, that's your knob. <laughs> that's my knob, bro. That's your knob. Knob on my slob. Cop on my knob. <laughs> Corn on the cop. You know what's you know what's crazy about Chipotle too is that my my friend Millie and my girl, mm -hmm. my fiance, they don't fuck with Chipotle because it makes their stomach like Oh yeah? Yeah, like fucks with them. And it breaks my heart because I'm like, I, I want fucking you. Chipotle. I get you. Let me tell you something. We can get to the bottom of this. I don't think it's Chipotle. I think it's a specific thing that they get in the bowl. It could be, dude, that hot, hot one. You know how there's a, uh, uh, Maybe, the, is the it pico, the, the medium, and the hot? Mm -hmm. Bro, that hot one is I like, get all of them. Dude, I do too. I get the I, the one that I don't get is corn. I don't I get stopped, corn. I stopped getting corn, but I tell you, can I tell you something? Dude? I love corn. I, I love know, corn. me too. But C it corn just, on it's, not, not, it's not, not macro friendly. It's not because it has sugar. Yeah, it's not macro friendly. It's not micro, macro friendly. It has sugar and uh, it doesn't carbs. have a lot of um, nutritional value from what I've heard. No. So it's it's kind of pointless. It's just extra carbs. But it's good. You know what else I don't get either and I it sucks? Uh -huh. Black beans. Yeah, I, I could do without just, black beans. Just, but I get you. It does yeah. make it better. If I could make the perfect Chipotle bowl, I would load it up. Oh, everything. I would put sour cream, cheese, guac, uh, everything. Can I tell you that I think I might have only had that one time and I've gone to Chipotle how many times have we gone to Chipotle? You go every just ourselves. We've yeah, gone at least a hundred times. times. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to load it up all the time. You did? Oh, a hell of cheese. You ever had it with chips? Yes, everything. Well, did you dip it? How are you supposed to eat Chipotle? Yes. Did you dip it? Yes, back in the day. Wow. Now I don't. Now it's like fajitas. Yeah, it's e kind of sad. Extra protein. But it's really good. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. They do something with the rice. It's like a cilantro lime rice. That I, is I've never got that. No, bro. It's the white rice. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. It's cilantro lime oh, is that rice. What it is? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Dude, it's so good. The other day, when before I was going to your house, I like stopped and I like literally I like wanted to take my time enjoying each bite. Uh huh. And I just got a little piece of rice and I was like, wow, it's good. It's so good. And I whispered that to myself. I think it's like a hundred to one hundred and fifty grams of rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know how much 150 grams of rice looks like, yeah, once and you it start looks like food. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so like my fiance and my my, because you know, yeah, 
<laughs> Millie works with Karen a lot on, on a lot of stuff, so they're always saying, I'm like, you guys want Chipotle? And they're like, nah, I fucks nah. up my stomach, but maybe. It's a sauce. Yeah. So maybe be like, just say, just get them the Chipotle, right? Mm -hmm. Don't do the red sauce, get it on the side of anything. And just say, yo, just eat this, don't touch the sauce. Yeah. Report back to me. Wow. Next podcast, we can circle back on this moment. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll probably go to Chipotle after this. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't even know where to start, bro. So that's a good thing. I don't even know where to start, bro. Well, thank God we're on a podcast and we got all the time in the world, baby. Like, as you guys know, I already posted this. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Mondays don't suck anymore. Trust me. Ooh. I promise you that. Did Mondays, Mondays just get a lot better? Mondays do not suck anymore. Wow. Go ahead, dude. Get some soda. If you need any more, there's some in our mini fridge. Guys, if you guys don't know, we have a mini fridge. Here's the thing. And we it's not really that mini. That's what I was about to say. You, you. I feel like when people think mini fridge, they think mini? Yeah. Fridge. No. No, bro. You got a state-of-the-art yes. refrigerator yes. for the greatest Latino podcast in the world. We're not saying it's the best in the world. I'm not Everyone saying that. says it's the best in the world. I Googled it I'm the not, other day. Yeah. I said, best Latino podcast in the, in the world? Yeah. La Platica. Yeah, it's weird, right? listening to La Platica. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't put that. So I saw the other day somebody tweeted that. I think that was me. It might have been you. <laughs> <laughs> Best Latino podcast in the world, La Platica. Bienvenidos. Estás escuchando La Platica. You need to readjust that to Estás escuchando the, to the, greatest, the greatest Latino podcast yes, in the world. Yes, I, I actually agree with that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Um, Guys, I don't know where to start. I told Josh, obviously you guys already know the news. I told Josh in the beginning of... I think two weeks ago, or even when I told him about everything, I guess we'll get into that right now, but I told him, I haven't been this excited since I started La Platica. I want you to go into the story about how this all kind of came to be, because even- Like when I called you? Yeah, because even what led up to that moment, and then I'll, and then I'll take it after okay. that, because I don't even know your thought process mm -hmm. Uh, behind like how you were how, how you've been thinking about it how long you've been thinking about it yeah. like how you plan to approach it like your everything you well, know well that's the thing like I called you that day right okay was it but just I was already blue? thinking about it thinking about me like yeah like weeks like a week two week prior even like three weeks prior even from like the second third time we filmed together when I invited you hey let's film something like I always had it in my head like Josh would be such a good you know partner to have because we have good chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're all willing to sacrifice to be the best Latino podcast in the world. It's not a sacrifice. It's already done. It's already done. But it's a little bit. But we're willing to be those people. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, we are willing. We're willing to say, <laughs> sure, choose yeah. me. Sure, yeah. Sure, I'll do it. We're, we're, we're pick me boys. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Whatever. <laughs> I'll be the best Latino podcast in the world. Yeah. Um, we'll take that award. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll go up there. <laughs> I'll say a speech. <laughs> you know, a couple things here and there. Um, but I always had that in my head. But like, I don't know if you guys know, but Josh is a legend. Okay. Josh <laughs> is a legend. Josh is busy. Josh has a lot on his plate. So in my head, I'm like, why would I ask? I'm like, I already know the answer. It's probably uh, maybe I don't know. It's I'm too busy. Maybe he wants his own thing. Maybe this and that. <laughs> Um, so like, it, you know, I invite him again and again and again. It's always such a good podcast because it's like we know we've known each other for so long. Yeah, We're great friends, it's obviously. It's super easy. Um, you know, when you invite somebody to 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 do a show, to do a podcast or whatever, um, you're always kind of like, well, hopefully they they do a good job too. You know, because I don't want to just I don't want to make it seem like I'm just, it's just an interview. Yeah, you know, because yeah. most of the time it's just like. All right, I'm gonna ask this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Um, we're gonna figure this out, and then it's just me questioning them basically. Mm -hmm. So it makes it seem like an interview. But with you, and then I've had other people as well that's been on my podcast. That you know, we go back and forth. Yeah, you ask me some shit. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Like, or, or or you have your own opinion, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. So I, I want to touch on that first point before we, we move on. Okay, because I want to say thank you, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, thank you for like thank you for all that. Um. I really do appreciate it. And you you know you're somebody that I really like love. You're my boy. I respect you. And I feel like you've done such an amazing job at this podcast. And I told you this. I was like, dude, I this is your thing. And mm -hmm. I don't want to take away anything from it. I only just want to add value. And I hope that I can do that. And that's why I'm excited to like yeah. to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. But you've done an amazing job at conducting this. Yeah. Um, so I've always wanted to start my own podcast. I'll be real with mm -hmm. you. And I know how great our dynamic is, right? Yeah. So um 
I even pitched to you, yo, let's, what if, because I love what you're doing with La Platica, yeah. what if we did our own thing? Yeah. And uh, that was kind of something in the works, and obviously- And I was it. down. I, I know, said, yeah, you were down. Do you were absolutely down. So I think that uh, that that we both felt it. We were like, yo, we should, we should be doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, when you asked me, I, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I was like- Yeah. So- Flabbergasted. So I, I, I got into a point where I'm the only one, and thank you for, you know, when you said you've done such a fantastic job, yes, I I pat myself on the back, but, you know, I'm, I'm like you, we're so perfectionist, and, yeah. we, and, we, and, we, and we give each other a hard time all the time. Oh, bro. So right when you said that right now, I was like, uh, it could be better, right? But I, 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 get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, I got to a point where it's like my consistency is so not consistent, mm -hmm. um, and that's my fault. But it's so difficult when you run, you're the only one running the show. Yeah. You're the only one trying to come up with ideas. Your podcast technically relies on guests uh, and the guests' schedule yeah. when they can come. Yeah. Um, for example, it's been times where I have guests come and you know they can't make it anymore so now what they bail last minute and that yeah. happens if people yeah. get busy with stuff happens like and of course and i'm not gonna get mad it's yeah. just the way it is yeah yeah so i'm obviously not gonna get mad about that um and but you still are running a podcast so you gotta figure it out so, so i gotta figure it out yeah. so you know a lot of people might, might not see that you know they might think it's a little easier you know creating a schedule things like that um another thing that's hard is when you're by yourself you have to motivate yourself and that is extremely difficult when there's other things in your life going on. Yes. Whether those things are good or bad. Mm -hmm. So to motivate yourself, I think was one of the most difficult things. Really? Yeah, in my mind yeah. and, and you know, um, me trying to keep up with La Platica. Yeah. Obviously I never wanted to bring it down. This is something I'd love to do. I, yeah. I'd love to be here. I love that, And that's very obvious. Yes, yes. It's yes. very obvious. Yeah, yes. it never felt forced. It never felt like you were like you had to do this, you know? And I think the times that you took off were for a good reason. They weren't like, cause you didn't want to shoot the podcast either because life yeah. got in the way. Yeah. It, it was hard scheduling guests, like you said. Yeah. And you're one, what is it called? One man band? Like that's yeah, one man operation. Yeah. That's what you were doing, man. And like so, even just how I helped you yesterday mm -hmm. kind of set up and stuff like that. I'm like, dang, you really, really used to do this all on your own. Yeah. And there's so much that goes into this, man. Like with the cameras and understanding like the, the monitors and mm -hmm. making sure all the soundboard is good, the mics are good, the set looks looks good all is that all of that that's just the like one fourth of it if, yeah. if that you yeah know? so it's crazy it's, that you it's, did this all on your own man yeah it's crazy but i came to save the day i know <laughs> the other day we were at ralph's because we have a mini fridge now and uh, we went what, go, that beautiful thing yeah that thing over there i'll show my picture later you know right? um we went over there and then we got sodas and things like that and, and i just told josh like like damn bro we're gonna be so consistent like we're yeah. gonna be this we're yeah. gonna be that because now guys like I don't have to rely on a guest. I, yeah. I just have to rely on him. And yes. he has to rely on me. Correct. And we both motivate each other, not even about podcast stuff. We don't even motivate each other like, just in that aspect. We motivate each, motivate each other in life in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to have him motivate me to do this and do that, and then me, vice versa, um, it's such a good thing. Like I, I, like I told you, since I started this, like guys, go to my first episode and see my setup and josh might have been like the second or third yeah right yeah that was the setup you had in your room yeah it was literally a fucking little ass round table yeah. two <laughs> mics and we were literally sitting like gnomes <laughs> but bro at the time i didn't even see it like that it was just fun it, to have like yeah. that kind of conversations but yeah nonetheless you have came a long way yes from that i had a way like i had a start and i have a different i had a different image yeah and um even the way I'm you- I'm trying to create that image and then that image is still not created, but like it's getting there. Yes, yes. Even the way you were um, <clears throat> like editing your podcast, I don't know your setup, but there was one specifically that you had with Mac Daddy where it looked like you guys weren't even necessarily talking to each other. Yeah. Yeah, it's I just think like, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, it's just so crazy. I mm -hmm. was like, damn, like you are really, it takes time to kind of like figure it out, but now you got it. And it's crazy because I feel like this is an amazing set. Yeah. You have an amazing setup. And every time I talk to you, you're like, I wish I had a bigger space. I wish I had better arm bars. I wish I had better mics and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's crazy. You're just constantly trying to get better and progress, which is why I was even more excited to do this because I was like, you're always trying to get better. Yeah. And that's what I want to be a part of. And that's why I was saying, like, I want to add value to that where I can help 
yeah aid in like us and, getting and better it, making a better podcast you know what i mean yeah being consistent because I, I told you i sent you a voice memo i said yeah i rather die yeah than you miss an episode i, like, I I'd rather die you're on speaker I will do and my girl was like I, next to me and she goes why why does he want to die i was like we gotta film babe bro so I, I, or else he dies <laughs> <laughs> and then your response was well i don't want you to die oh, yeah. so <laughs> i guess we'll be consistent yeah so i'm telling you guys like back at home first of all thank you even for joining la platica uh, yes. a big introduction now to josh leva which is the 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 other host of la platica i can't even believe that you bro. don't like, want my I, he, I don't want you to be a he co-host doesn't want, he doesn't want me to call myself a co-host no, but technically i, I think th- I'm, that's just the correct term i could be wrong though but yesterday when we were filming the uh like the hype video uh which was this this was, I guess, technically when they watched this, it'll yeah. be last week. Last yeah. week when we shot the high video, um, we were like w- working on like the language and stuff like that. And I kept saying like, oh, I'm Josh, the co-host. I was about to, he's like, no, you're the host just like me. Do not undermine yourself. You are equal. And I'm like, okay, but I think that's just the correct verbiage, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I just, I don't like you saying co. Like, I, I, I get you. You know, like you're not okay listen to me the the most important thing here is i mean that is my light though that's your light yeah that's your light like that's my light that's your light but that doesn't mean you're the (laughs) co-owner no no that's that's my fucking light (laughs) that's my light um we got to figure out how we're gonna uh uh title ourselves in our instagram bios host of la platica but then okay you sure what there can only be one host i don't know no when you go to a restaurant there's only one host no there's hella yeah i guess you're right i guess you're right okay when you hi i'm like a that, host yeah you're right yeah, okay I, I come over here at table yeah. three is ready but sometimes i ask them like are you the host or the co-host because i need to know <laughs> there's no that. co-host in a restaurant i ask unless she's a trainee oh, he or she yeah then right? they're co-host yeah because they're not really the host they're just training to be the host so they're the co-host well, okay. Yeah, I worked at Jack, dude. I worked at Jack in the Box. I know I was what a co-host, a co-host is. Host. I was Jack in the Box. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't want you to call yourself a co-host. I wouldn't want that. Like, okay. I don't want you. You're the fucking host. All right. Of the show that they call La, La Platica, Platica. Okay. which is world renowned to be the, the best Latin La- podcast, podcast in the um, world. Planet, yeah. World, world. yeah. Or who's planet. ever world? Earth. Yeah. The universe. Yeah. The third rock farthest from the sun. Earth. Is it the third or is it the fourth? I think it's the third. It's the third. Oh my it's god! The third. I was Bro, like, I think you Mars know what's crazy? Is the it's always like you always when you when people ask you like these like I guess general educational questions like that you you know you know but when you like when they like 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 wait are you sure yeah yeah like how many states? I saw this TikTok where where um some guy was like for a dollar yeah, yeah. what's the biggest um oh I saw that what's one. the biggest state in the United He's States? He's like big. What you mean? Yeah, he was like, "Big, what you mean, like, like population or like, so, like, like square like, footage?" Like, no, it matters. <laughs> like, no, like, nah, it matters. Like square footage or like population. Yeah, he goes square footage, Alaska. <laughs> yeah, that was so dope. And, and, and then me, I was like, and then he oh, took shit. that dollar. Yeah, he goes, "Thank you." Yeah, that I was, was like, my that favorite. was so sick, so sick. Because I thought it was Texas, like for a moment. Yeah, bro, his brain to be able to like rationalize the question, right? Because yeah. that is true. Like you just the question could mean two different things. Like population, mm. there's probably more people in Texas than there are in Alaska right obviously yeah, yeah exactly so that question is like it's a two different questions and he was on it and he was mad about it yeah that was very asked me such a and that's why that tiktok did so good yeah because of that guy but anyways going back to the main the the main topic is yeah i called josh you know before <laughs> i called josh call me on my cell phone on his cell phone i text him but before i texted him i had a conversation with karen Okay, this is good. This is what the stuff I wanted to know. Yeah, I, I wanted had, to know the back end stuff. I had a conversation with Karen. Yeah. And I was like, what do you think? You know, obviously I told her all that. Yeah. What do you think? And she was like, I, I think it's it's a I think it's something you need. Mm. I think it's something you need. I Josh, you and Josh are amazing together. Um, you guys do so many great things together. You obviously we see each other all the time. It only makes sense. And when I asked her, I was like, you think he would do it though? <laughs> You know, what because, you know, I'm nervous, uh, you know, like I, this is my baby. Sure. Yeah. Our baby now. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I think I'm going to call him because <laughs> I thought about it before. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times she would be, it was you and her who, who are my, my, my co-host. That's kind of like that's a co-host. True. Yes. To yes. Me. That's un, uh, like unofficial, unofficial co-host. Un- untitled co-host. Yeah. yeah. 
But now you're a part of La Platica, so you are yeah. the host. I'm not even the second most reoccurring guest anymore. No, we're both. No, no, no. You're you're permanently, I'm permanently the host. The host. Like if we have a guest, they could be. Maybe they. Could I be. don't have to talk. You might not say a word. No, I can be like I don't want to talk today. That's fine. I'm I here. You. I got you, bro. But I'll like he's you. the host. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just kicking back. You just chilling. You drinking soda, baby. I'm drinking soda <laughs> in my mini fridge on top of uh -huh. it, cooling down. Wow. And I'm and I'm over here hosting. Hosting. <laughs> hosting, not co-hosting, <laughs> no, just straight no, no. hosting. Yeah. And that, and vice versa. I might say, you know what, dude? I don't want to talk today. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> I want a soda. <laughs> <laughs> and you, what was that other thing we were talking about on the other podcast or something similar like that? Oh, uh, the I'm mad? No, it was on the other podcast. I think Karen was here. We kept saying it. It was funny. Oh, shoot. You're right. right? Yeah, it yeah. Was, like, was like a little callback thing. We kept saying, man, I forgot what it, it was. It was something that Karen said, I think, or something. Yeah. Okay, we got to get back well, to we're that. About we're, to... we're getting off topic. But bro, but from the call, right? When yeah. you called me, it's funny because you were texting me and- I said, hey, Josh, are you, are, I, I want to talk to you. Are you available? You. Yeah. And it sounded kind of serious. And then your tone in the beginning and like the questions that you were what asking me- What did you me, think I was going to tell you? Okay. So you were like- you just started small talking me, bro. And I was like, bro, why are you small talking me? You're like, what do you want? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you were like, uh, yo, man, so, cause I'm gonna kind of figuring out my whole living situation, uh, like, whatever. And he was kind of asking me questions about that. Like, yo, what are you gonna do with this? Are you gonna move here? Are you gonna buy this, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, yeah, cause yeah. I, I didn't get straight to the you point. Didn't get straight to the I was point. just seeing what's over to you. And then you said, and then this is how you followed it up, or you started the, I guess, that whole, the question you said, I think you know where this is going. And I need to ask you something. And literally, you know what the first thing I thought of? What? I was like, this was gonna ask me to move in with him. <laughs> and Karen, I thought I was gonna, I thought, and you know what's funny, bro? Immediately, my brain started like, like figuring out, okay, I guess I'll take the downstairs room, right? And I, I can decorate it like this, my bed. I was like, like, you're gonna say, yeah. Huh? You were about to say, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say, yeah, before you even asked the question. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'll move in. And you're like, do what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so then that's what I thought. I was like, and that's why I was like, dude, I'm so nervous. Like, what are you about to ask me right now? And then that's when you pop the question. Pop and that question. I was so I was so excited. I was so excited. And uh I was yeah, nervous because I was like, what about if he says no? Like I'll be so embarrassed. Bro, I there's not a chance in the world or even the slightest like thought that I had to say no. Like no was yeah. not even an option. Yeah. Because you mentioned something earlier like that I'm busy. I'm busy, bro. Yeah, but I know. this this to me is so cool and so special and to be something like to be a part of this, I'm like I'll do anything and I will die before I miss a podcast. <laughs> Hopefully Karen, it's before Monday. I will die, dude. <laughs> of, a heart it, of a heartbreak because we missed a podcast and we yeah, let the we people can't die. Miss. Can't miss, dude. We can't miss. That's how I die. They'll be like, how do you die? Heartbreak. Yeah. Heartbreak. You missed an episode. Yeah. And everybody back at home, like, if it's Thursday or Friday, just DM us randomly. Oh, please. That's and just idea. let us know. Y'all film? Did you guys film? Obviously, we probably already did. But just let us know. Just in case. Give us that push. I love that. I love that. Please DM us. Right? Yeah. And we'll hit you back. And, we'll, and we got to be honest, bro. Yeah. If we get one and we don't, and uh, we haven't filmed. Yeah. We need to film. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. But, but when I did ask you, and when I said that, like, it was almost like, like I, I promise you, like, there's nobody that I would want to do this other than you, bro. Like, that's it. So you were my only option. I was going to ask that, too, if you had any other options. No. Because I was about to scout them out. Nobody, bro. Nobody. Who? Uh, I think, I think like, uh, Karen would have been, like, a great co-host. But the yes. thing is, she's already, like, kind of that title. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. So I thought, like, maybe maybe her, you know? But it's different. I guess that's she would different. Be, she would be great, yeah. She would be great. But Karen's like busy, bu busy, like, busy. <laughs> yeah. like busy. She's like, on another level of busy. Yeah, like. She's a busy dude. You know, yeah. I think it would be possible. Yeah. And obviously we're going to see Karen a lot. And she's probably going to be, she's probably honestly an unofficial co-host. Yeah. I mean, she is. Yeah. And she's going to be on the podcast a ton. Yeah. She, and she technically owns a little bit of La Platica, technically. <laughs> So she's technically our boss. <laughs> yeah, she's technically our boss. <laughs> we got to report to the boss, bro. Um, yeah, so. If she sends us a DM, have y'all filmed? <laughs> oh, we're in trouble, bro. Especially if we haven't filmed. But we going to film. She's like, I need my episodes weekly. Yeah, so I don't know. I just felt like it made sense. It made sense, bro. And like I said in the beginning, it's just so much more easier to be with two people mm -hmm. going, going at it, you know, there's no excuse now. No excuse, none. Yeah. Okay. 
which but there is going to be a uh, responsibility for us of to like, come and deliver of course and with uh with with creativity yes with things that we want to talk mm -hmm. about uh things that you guys want us to talk about things you know how any way we can like yes continue to to stay yes. consistent we need y'all help to stay consistent what and, i'm saying and i don't know what it is right now but different stuff different stuff sometimes you know just different stuff and like i said i don't know what that is but just different it's stuff. gonna come it's gonna come i also want to know like I'm excited for these kind of conversations that we're gonna yeah. have. I want us to get deep. Deep. I want us to get real. Hit me. Hit um, me. Say real. <laughs> real, real, real deep. I want us to get factual. Factual. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Shul. We gotta do it all, bro. We Everything. gotta do it all. Uh, we gotta do an episode too. I just thought of this right now. We gotta do an episode. We get a little lit. I know you got the tequila bottle. I see the bottle back there. Yeah. We gotta do one of those. Uh, and then also, uh, guests that you guys wanna have, that you guys would like to see us have, yeah. please let us know in the comment section below. Yeah. I was even telling Sebas, I was like, you've had some guests on the podcast already that were phenomenal yeah. guests, great guests. I would love to have some of those people back because mm -hmm. I feel like the dynamic is gonna be different. All day. Because it's gonna be different. All day. Because it's gonna be different. All day. <laughs> All day. Yeah. And that's easy. Easy. Um, so even if, what I'm saying is like, even if somebody he's already had, like, please let us know if you guys would like to see a specific. Yeah. And I, guys, guys back at home, I need you guys to like spam them too. Yeah, go dummy. Like go dummy on their comments. Like, yo, you gotta go on La Platica. You gotta do this because actually it's gonna help. Yeah, it helps a lot. And then I'll DM them. Like, or you'll hey. DM them. Because like, the people hey, wants you on. The people have spoken. The people have spoken. And the people have chosen. Do you want to go on the Best Line Podcast on Earth? Yeah. Yes or yes? Yes or yes. Circle <laughs> one. Circle one. <laughs> um, very good. We have some other stuff to talk about, especially our restock collab, which we have to wow. thank them. Yeah. We didn't think about that. Bro, I, yeah. And that just happened. Literally just happened. Yeah. We're just so focused on this, but yeah. we should be focused on that too. Yeah, because this is kind of like a full circle moment, honestly. For full circle moment. Before Salud was... I'm getting choked up. Before Salud was even launched, bro. Yeah. You were the first podcast, and I've said this before, to really kind of make that announcement. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I didn't even announce it on social media. I did it uh -huh. first time on the podcast. Yeah. And you were so hyped about the brand. How you? I brought the product for you, so mm -hmm. you actually... Tr you had tried it way before that, but you actually mm -hmm. saw the packaging and everything like that. Everything. Yeah. And dude, you have been such an amazing supporter and a huge part of the success of the brand. So obviously you were the first collaboration that we did and we made sure we went big. Yeah. And we, we did big and we did Sandia for our first launch. Sold out uh, March 1st, March 1st. It was March 1st that we did the first uh, launch, which was nuts. Yeah. And of course the demand and the hype for this flavor was insane, bro. Like more than we've ever seen on Ancelotti. We have a total- You nailed that fucking flavor. Ooh that flavor is is uh pretty spectacular if you yeah. ask me it's really good flavor it's a really good flavor it's 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 extremely good and, and and we did the restock and i told you i was like i think people who bought it before mm -hmm. and obviously like they don't have they don't, it they anymore didn't know, and they didn't even know what it tasted like. yeah they don't know what it tastes Prior. like those people have bought five to six bags you know what's crazy bro you said that yeah. and then all the stories started flooding yeah. in and i was like whoa people like, like dummy bags dude didn't we have one girl said that she got her whole office to make sure they bought and they ended up buying like 26 bags yeah that's not an exaggeration. She's like, we bought 26 bags. We're not, we're not missing out. We're gonna have 26 bags uh, in between all their coworkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah like, we, we have a we have a lifetime supply. Guys, quick break. Yeah, 30 minute mark. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> no, you. Onto these, bro. What the zeros? Aren't the, they the, so good? No, the Zevia. The Zevia. Oh, the Z yeah. Is it Zevia or Zevia? Who knows, right? They don't matter, bro. Bro, those are super good. And there's no, the, this rootbeer one. This yeah, ginger rootbeer. They're, they're, they're the healthiest for you. Yeah, because they use like the 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 type of sugar that they use is like not artificial, right? It's like the yeah, stevia. And the and the ingredients are like super simple. Yeah. Um. But I still love Coke Zero, and I'll never give it up. Coke Zero, and I love Dr Pepper Zero. I'm gonna be real with you. I think uh, Coke Zero has my heart. Yeah. And Dr. Pe uh, DPZ, I call it DPZ. Yeah. Dr. Pepper Zero, that's second. Yeah, same. It's just I've drank so much Coke Zero already. 
How many? What's the most you drink in a day? In a day, probably four. Nothing crazy. Oh, that's not that bad. Nah. I've done four too. But even four, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm pushing yeah. it. I get what the I, minis now. The minis are good. The minis are perfect. Because doing four of those it's is like perfect, two. It's perfect for my meal. Yeah. Yeah. You wanted to grab the minis for these, and I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. What do you think you are, bro? This is La Platica. Yeah, it's not we my go kitchen. We go big, we go home. Mm -hmm. But everybody back at home, I literally want to give you a virtual hug, a big thank you. Like, seriously, you guys support La Platica, support Te Salud, Josh. Um, and we see it. Like, keep posting all the, the, the oh, Sandia, we love to see it. Yeah, we Salud. Love to see it. Like, it's amazing. And, and the fact that Josh got, like, how many billboards? Like, 10? We got when 10 you surprised billboards. me on that video, if you haven't seen that real, <laughs> uh, it, it's on both of our uh, channels. Um, it's so sick, bro. I was that was I wanted to touch on that because I like how to scratch my nose this way. <laughs> um, the love that you get on this podcast, yeah. and you in general, and and uh, like everything you built is insane, man. So, uh, it's crazy to they see like me, the, the, they, they really love you, like bro. me, they, yeah, they do to say yeah. the least. And I love them, the, the love is insane, man. The love is insane, uh, especially with the Sandia restock that we did. I'm glad that we were able to bring it back. There was a part of us that I guess at one point we were like. Should we bring this back? You think people really want this? Dude, <laughs> no, it was very obvious to us, like, immediately. Yeah. Like, we were like, okay, we got to bring this back. And the love has been uh, unreal. I, uh, and I told you, I was like, it, they're not buying, like, obviously they're buying it to support La Platica and, to, and Salud, but they're buying it because it's such a good product. Thank you, sir. People Appreciate are buying that. it. And not only the Sandia one, everything. Yeah. Because that, that's what I saw, too, uh, this time going around is like, they're not only trying my, the one that we collabed on, but mm -hmm. they're trying other ones yeah, as well. They're, yeah. They're, I think a lot of people are now like, okay, I tried this and yeah, this is bomb. If this is bomb, the other ones are probably just as good. Yeah, yeah. Like the chili limon one, fire. fire. The Jamaica one is still one of my faves. Yeah, it's, it's a fave. Like I, yeah. the limon one, refreshing. Super. Yeah. So it's like people are really trying. Um, I'll try. Okay. It's Jamaica. Yes. Hibiscus. <laughs> um, uh, mango chili. Okay. Sandia. You're going out of order, but okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Lemon lime, yeah, close. Limon. I'll, I'll count it. I'll count it. Is pepino it not, limon? Oh, pepino limon. Yeah, oh, got it's it. Close. Oh, even better. Even better. Um, how many am I missing? Don't tell me. How many am I missing? Uh, Two. Uh, shoot, I don't see. Horchata. Yeah. Um, I know there's one more. Don't tell me, motherfucker. <laughs> don't tell me. I think you're missing two, if I'm not mistaken. Two. What am I missing? You want me to tell you? Yeah, just tell me. Tamarindo? Oh, yeah. And uh, and mango. Oh, there's a there's a straight mango there's one? A straight mango oh, yeah, one there is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I feel I like we're miss missing one more because I believe that there's eight flavors. Let me listen real quick. Let me listen real quick. Okay. okay. There's a Jamaica, horchata, mango, pepino limon, tamarindo, mango chili, sandia, and oh, maybe that is it. Did you say horchata? Did I not say horchata? And it could be horchata. So maybe it is eight? Seven or eight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have a lot of flavors, guys. <laughs> and we got to rewind this clip. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, just congratulations Thank to you, you and, and everything that you've, you've done with that brand in such a short amount of time. And your whole team, let's not forget about That's that. That's what I was going to say, bro. I want to give a forget, huge shout out to my team. My team is incredible, yeah, bro. They, Obviously, they are. they're, they're top-notch and... Uh, there's just no way I could have done this. We could have done this without everybody. There's so many people that played a part in it. Um, even my business partner, my main partner, Tyler, dude, he's incredible, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, and he's he's really like um, a, a lot of the brains behind the operation, man. Especially when it comes down to the formulation. The reason why you said it tastes so good that that's him. He understands. Yeah, obviously I follow like Tyler. Yeah, and like it was so cool to like. Oh, today marks our. What did he post again? Our one year. Our one year. One year, bro. Yeah. One year. And you guys have already done so much of it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why I was so scared to ask if you want to be part of the platform because, like, bro, you're doing so much right now. It's insane. I and got it's time awesome. for you, baby. I got time for you. I got all the time in the world. You got soda for me. I got time for you. Clearly. You know what I'm saying? Clearly. Soda for me. Time for you. Clearly. Let me give a CV. Um, <laughs> and uh, I saw him post this picture, um, where it was um. It was um, a drawing of the mm -hmm. little packet. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, it's so beautiful. It yeah. just comes to life. Yeah. And what else did he post? He posted that. And then he posted, I think you guys went somewhere and there was like King Taco or Chata. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, that's so cool because you guys probably use that as reference, uh, right? 100%. Because I'm not going to lie. Look, for everybody out there, you might hate me that I say this, but King Taco is not that good. The food? The food. 
I don't think it's that good. Okay, you, I think it's good. Okay, well, we're gonna fight. It's our first fight happening right here on camera, guys. I, I think it's I think it's good. Don't get me wrong. They're, I I like their burrito a lot, and mm -hmm. their sopas are good. Their tacos. The salsas, I don't, dude. The, the the salsas are good. Okay, but like the tacos and things like that, I don't think they're the best. You do you know that they don't even have lime there? It's the best. It's the best, <laughs> but they have bomb ass. They don't have lime. Up. No. You gotta know a guy. You probably do. I know a guy. You you probably do. I say, but, hey, lime guy. But, but, Give me a lime <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> they have bomb horchata. Dude, the horchata is my favorite. It's, it's my favorite too, yeah. So I think I've said this story before, not to like repeat myself, but horchata was one of the trickiest flavors for us to nail, right? Because we created a hydrating horchata, yeah. right? That has benefits. Yeah. No sugar. It's tough, bro. Sh yeah. uh, horchata, like the number mm -hmm. one ingredient, the first ingredient is basically sugar. Yeah. So uh, to do that, it was hard, bro. So like the person who did our flavoring and stuff, it, it was taking her some time. And then I said, you know what? I, I got the perfect reference for her. Yeah. King taco horchata. Yeah. This is what it needs to taste yeah. like. And I say it's pretty spot on. Because even when you told me, I was like, dang, horchata, like that sounds amazing. But when I think of horchata, I don't think of it as in like, I'm gonna have it to hydrate, hydrate. myself because it's rice milk basically, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if anything, it's gonna make me thirstier. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But Not ours. When, no, when you did it, I was like, yeah, it's good. You did it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. We start a band next. What we band? should. Yeah. That would be good. No, but like that, that is so sick. And once again, coming back to me asking you to be honest, it's just like, dude, you're so busy. Like I said, bro, I got time for you all day. Yeah. So, guys, we have so much like in store, and, like planning, and I don't know. Just I just feel like it feels right. I feel so like amped up. I was even talking to Josh, like, bro, we gotta like do more, and yeah. we have so much like in our mind that, that that we're talking about doing that I don't want to tell you guys. Yeah, I just want to do it. Yeah. Um, but it, I'm like, I don't even I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> like, I want yeah. I, I to get to a point where it's like. Yo, let's go to the studio and film real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, like anything. Oh, like a current event or something like that that we want to touch on. If it needs about. to happen, it needs to happen. That's how we're going to do it. Yeah. But regardless, regardless, guys, every Monday, Mondays don't suck anymore. Sir, before we wrap this up, I just once again want to thank you for this opportunity. Yes. For allowing me to be a part of this incredible podcast. Yes. Guys, I hope that you, uh, you. I hope I don't let you guys down. I promise you that I'm going to do everything I possibly can to add a lot of value to mm -hmm. this podcast. And we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to we go are. crazy. And we're going to... We're going to stay consistent because I will die. On Monday. I will die if we don't post from my heart break. Bro, and you, you know what trips me out about you is that like when I say that you're a legend, you are a legend, bro. In, in the YouTube community <laughs> space, on Instagram, um, I can't believe that, you know, a couple years back, you would film videos so consistently. I was dialed in. I didn't miss. So like when you say, like when you actually say that, like I will die. <laughs> I believe it because you've been there before. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yes. Like, and, and you wouldn't film videos like this. Like, yes, it's a whole production yeah. and people don't see the behind the scenes and the editing. And it, this is a big deal, too. But you're sitting down and talking. True. You used to do a whole lot of skits yeah. and rely on all these, like, other YouTubers yeah. and things like that to, you know, to get dialed in. And you'd have to shoot in random cities and do this and create skits and yeah. scripts. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Skits and scripts, baby. <laughs> skits and scripts. <laughs> so that was my LLC. That's man. skits like, and scripts. I'm I'm assuming you were like super fucking motivated. I was so driven, man. I was so so driven, and yeah. uh, I want to bring that same energy here because yes. I know that that's what it takes, bro. And I think we are at a point I, right now yeah. where we have a, we have a lot of passion and yeah. fire. Yeah. And this and this is the I got same fire kind of, coming on my ass right now. I guess I guess I can smell it. You can smell it. <laughs> you can smell it. Yeah, I know. Can right? you smell it? <laughs> I was not the candle. I was concerned. <laughs> um, yeah. But that's honestly this. Same energy I felt when I first started YouTube, man. It's what I feel. I feel now like now this. that we're like a little bit older, yeah. This is what we need. Honestly, this is this we is don't the need to right be wasting touch. gas and meeting no, over here. Let's bro, you know. No. This is what we need right here, bro. Nice yes. and relaxed. Yes, I was. Yeah, I was causing too much trouble back then, bro. Right. Yeah, I literally have videos where I'm like twerking, and like character in the middle of Santa Monica, Venice Beach. I have videos where I'm using prop guns, and I literally had SWAT teams come wow bro shut the whole production down helicopters guys with big old ak 47 i'm not joking bro like it's crazy but whatever it sometimes takes. i forget that you used to do all that yeah it's pretty wild it is wild yeah and it's crazy because you, you don't it. act like that though 
or maybe you did maybe before i knew you yeah. i don't know but you're like 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 guys if you hang out with josh he doesn't like act fucking wild he's just super chill <laughs> yeah i don't I, like that too unless i get lit yeah then it's pretty but it's cool because like i go to the gym with josh sometimes and so many people come up to you and they're like josh like the first thing they tell you all the time is when are you gonna get back on, on YouTube? YouTube? I know. When are you gonna do it's this? The number one question I get. But it's not even about like. I'm oh, back on YouTube, baby. Yeah, I'm on La Platica. Yeah, th- that. <laughs> I'm the host of La Platica. But like, it's not even like it's it's like just it made, that phase was probably just done in your life. You know, you you focus on other things. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. It probably is. It yeah. most likely is. Yeah. Uh, I love comedy. I love acting. I love like the entertainment space, and I would love to eventually go back into that. Yeah. I don't necessarily know if YouTube is the platform that I do it. I might even really try to like get more into like a serious acting. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, but right now I'm on a different journey, bro. I love salud. I have so much like, yeah. love and passion yeah. for that. I, I'm excited to do this. I think you're on the right path and yeah. what you need to be doing. Yeah, we did a. Yeah, we. Uh, you need to be. You need to be here. I need to be right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and another thing that people tell them all the time is like, like the other kid. Remember that kid at the gym? He was like, "Dude, you changed my life." What did he say? He was like, "You, you, you helped me go through so many things and and a lot of like down like." Um, like spiraling moments yeah, in his yeah. life something like that yeah, like that, i overheard i dude, wasn't trying to eavesdrop but like i overheard and i was like dang like those, those kind of moments are surreal man they're unreal because like back then when i would just produce these sketches i to a lot of people there was just like these dumb videos that i would make yeah and little did i know that i was really impacting people yeah people that were going through hard times would use my videos yeah. and i'm not saying i like save people but like they would use it as like a moment to escape whatever they were going yeah, through yeah and to hear that from people and like you kind of get lost with social media because it's just a number right you just see a comment from being like in front of a screen um so to when somebody comes up and really shares that story and looks me in the eye and tells me like yo like you your videos like really helped me out a lot it's unreal yeah. it's unreal yeah yeah so i sometimes you forget that because i feel like sometimes we do things like I do this for everybody back at home because yeah. I know people watch and I know and, and I want to get to, it's basically like me getting to know you and you and you getting to know me yeah. and, and I want you to know like everything about this right but like there's a, another side of us that's like I want to do this for myself yeah you know because I want to be happy and, and, and I want to like fulfill my own needs mm-hmm. right or like I want to make my like like when you would do skits you'd be like honestly I'm just doing this to make my, myself and my family and my friends laugh wow, 100%. right you never really think about how it actually impacts no. other people no not at all so that's why like and that's how I am too like I forget how much people I impact yeah like just a lot of random people sometimes that that they just started following me like those people probably don't even follow me right now but they'll get to know this podcast like a week after this this, yeah. this this video is published and then they're like yo who's that or like who's who's you you yeah, know yeah and then they'll follow us on instagram and then you know it's just it's just so crazy how the how, impact how the impact that that this shit does yeah bro you have that same effect though you have a lot of draw you have something about you that i think people really like admire and uh i mean obviously you're so fucking cool right like your style the way oh. you are and stuff like that so that's cool but i think it's dope when you see you, somebody like you with like you're kind of like image right and then you get to hear them talk and kind of listen to like kind of like behind the curtains of their life and stuff like that and then people get to see more of you yeah it's incredible bro it's incredible and i'm a part of it now i get to experience it every monday and 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 i i wanted you here because you were i feel like the missing puzzle and like the perfect fucking fit this is the last time that Silas and I are gonna overly compliment each other. Probably not, but we do it so much. It's like, we can't just take a compliment. I'm like, you're like, you're cute. I'm like, yeah, but you sexy. Like, no, but you super sexy. Hey man, you are super soaker sexy. It's just like, don't stop. But <laughs> another thing, I we, I posted that, obviously it's Monday now, um, but last Wednesday I posted the, the video of the reel. Yeah. And by the way, I'm really good at talking in the future because I'm saying last Wednesday when really it's today, Wednesday's today. Yeah. Just so you know that, guys. Yeah. And does that make any sense? So I'm saying <laughs> last Wednesday. So when you see know. this on Monday, you're thinking about today. Yeah. You like? Yeah. That's trippy, bro. Boom, Doctor <laughs> Strange. You wanted to say Doctor Seuss? Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Seuss. Strange. Doctor Strange shit, right that's now. Some, yeah, that's some. Yeah. That's some DS right there. So once again, when. I posted something last Wednesday. Yes, you did. Which is today. All right, but don't tell them. Don't tell them. <laughs> um, and that real, dude, so many people. Okay, I posted oh, yes, the story. Yes. I posted a story. Like, what do you think it is? Yeah. Well, how the fuck did people know, like, oh, Josh is going to be your permanent co-host? Bro, that was host. such a trip to me. I, I really want to know how people, what did we do to give it away? 
I mean, because, I would post those Power Rangers. But that's not but enough, like, No, bro. that's not enough. And that's funny because that, that Power Ranger thing that you were posting okay. was uh, like an inside thing between us. Yeah. In text messages. Yeah, yeah. That we were like, oh, bro, we're about to, we're, we're yeah, going to morph. It's morph in time. You know what I'm saying? It's morph in time. Triceratops. <laughs> forever laughter. <laughs> It's not a real one. <laughs> no. Did you say forever and after? <laughs> forever. <laughs> I did, dude. I did. I, I, was, co- I was coding Shakespeare. Right? Ah, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Everybody uh, knew it was you. You, bro, it was you know what I think it is? It's too lately, like this year, we've been so like just going at it. Yeah. With a lot of things. Yeah. With- you being on the podcast many times, our collab our together. Collab salute, yeah. I think I would even say the same thing to be honest with yeah. you. But so, it, it did trip me out though. It did trip me out. Nonetheless, bro, it was trippy. I agree. Because in that st- a story segment, I was not referred to. You literally were talking about a podcast, your own personal podcast. Yeah. I don't know. It was, it was trippy. But no, it was really I, cool. I know, trust me. It's, it was it, really cool. I was yeah. like, wow, people are like, they, yeah. how do they know, first of all? And, so and, cool. and even before I posted that story, I would send you little things that people would tell me like, hey, you should have Josh as a permanent yeah. thing. And they're like, Bro, the love I receive on this podcast is insane. Yeah. Like, It's insane. I'm so grateful for everybody. They're everybody's so sweet and kind. Yeah, even when you told me yes... I, I, I just wanted to tell people already. Yeah. So like, I would see like a friend or something. I'm like, hey bro, guess what? <laughs> like, I just wanted to see that what their reaction would be, you know? Cause yeah. nobody knows other than Karen and you. Yeah. So like, I just wanted to get other random people's reaction. Yeah. You know, people that know you, but don't know you maybe as well. Right. So like, there was friends that I told, like, guess who I'm gonna have as a permanent co-host? And they would say, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah. Uh, yeah or nah? You like it? <laughs> and they're like, bro, that's going to be fucking sick. Damn. So like, it was, it's already like a thing. It is a thing. Bro. Yeah. Like, and even in random people, they would yeah. message me like, hey, you need to have him all the time. Bro, uh, uh, going back to what we were talking about earlier, um, when uh, we produced the video last week, um, the one we announced uh, that I was going to be the co-host yes. last week. Remember yeah. when we did that? Yeah, yeah. Last Dr. week. Dr. Strange shit. <laughs> uh, dude, you're such a good uh, director. You're a phenomenal director. You think so? And you're very patient. So you being a creator, I think it's obviously because you're a yeah. creator. You know what it's like to produce something and make something, uh, especially when it has, like when you're in it, right? You're so you're so picky with how you look, how you say things, how you deliver things, all this stuff, right? So, um Dude, you're so good. I think you should like really lean into that a little bit more in the directing. I don't know how, I don't know what, yeah. but I think you got an eye for it because the, the the video that you guys will see on on his reels, it's on my reels as well. Um, it's very simple, but believe it or not, yeah, that video took us I want to say two hours to film. Yeah, it was about a two hour process. We had we we were kind of going with it on the fly, like we kind of had a concept, but it wasn't really dialed in. So yeah. when we came to shoot it, it was uh it was really just you know doing it on the on the mm-hmm. fly. So we were kind of going back and forth with different things, and we would try different takes and stuff like that and uh i would do my takes and they were decent takes yeah. and you were like bro these are great takes but i know that you want to do it better want to do it better yeah. and, I, and know I know you, you can, do, can. Yeah. do it better but so even if just you like your coaching yeah. and stuff like that was but amazing. if you don't want to this is perfect yeah 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 so it's we, cool man we filmed that about 14 15 times maybe 20. bro i'm gonna be real with you i think it was 20. i think it was like 35. <laughs> nah not that much no no 36. no 37. <laughs> no less <laughs> oh, okay. it was like the most 20 but it was the one that we filmed last week yeah last week <laughs> <laughs> yesterday ds bro <laughs> dr strange strange dr strange did you see dr strange no <laughs> yeah i don't i not wonder, the new one. i want to go see it i'm not gonna get too much into it but that was really cheesy Bro, okay. Like, I, that motherfucker fought. Like, he, like, grabbed music notes uh-huh. from, like, a piano. Yeah. Like, think about it. There were, like, music notes that were, like, you can see the music note symbol. He grabbed them from a piano and he fought with them. And, like, he, like. He was battling people with music? Yeah, it was just really cheesy. Yeah, like maniac, yeah. maniac. Like, he should have a sword or something. That'd be sick. Yeah, Thor's coming out, though. Bro, Thor looks sick. Have you seen the video? Bro, like, fool looks fucking sick. Bro, swole. he's jacked. You think he took some shit? A thousand percent. That was percent, bro. They not say only he that, didn't, but there has to be. There has to be. I don't understand how people say no, and honestly, it's kind of uh, like upsetting that people say no because what it does is like people. It just raises the standards of for, normality. Of normality. Yeah. Normality. Um, no matter the norm, Natalie. <laughs> norm Natalie. <laughs> it's an old colleague of mine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and and uh, and I, then it, 
I think they should say like, yeah, I, I'm doing a little bit of testosterone. I'm doing a little bit of this or that. Like, it's okay. Nothing's exactly. gonna happen. The dude looks phenomenal. Yeah. Now, but like, bro, like it's it's almost physically impossible to look like that for naturally. That, yeah, for that short amount of period of time. Yeah, actually, then, for anything. And then on top of that, he's huge. He's huge. I, I there's CGI, bro. Like, who, who's to say like that? Lot, none of the. Well, some of that is not enhanced. Yeah. CGI. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, but like I think a lot of it is is him because I think there's so like too. a big article on like how big he got. He's huge, bro. He's huge. He's huge. What's his name? Chris what? Uh Hemsworth. Hemsworth, yeah. I like him. He's cool. Yeah. Um But what were we talking about before? Doctor Strange. It was uh, right before. Oh shoot, what were we saying? The uh How do we forget? Dude, this is your first day. I know, I'm already blowing it on the job. <laughs> Um. Uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. Damn, what were we saying? Okay. The, oh, the directing, the oh, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. takes. How many takes it took yeah, us to yeah. do the thing? It was a long process. Yeah. Bro, and you're also really good at editing too. You got that done quick. I. That's why. That's why. Like a lot of things that I would tell you, like, look, this is what we're gonna do mm -hmm. because I edited the video before we shot it. Gotcha. You, you saw know? it already edited yes. before we shot it. Remember yeah. when you're like, oh, you just want me to go over there and then press a button? Yeah. I was like, yeah, because right when you press it, I'm going to go like, yes, that's just, that's yes. it's done. Yes. And then you caught on to it after. You're yes. like, oh, that's why. Yeah, I'm like, that's yes. why. Yes. Jackass. Yes. <laughs> you know what, dude? This whole co-hosting is not going to work out. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> hey, babe, you know, he just left. And um, I don't yeah. know, Beam. I think I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> imagine. Imagine, dude. That would break my heart. I imagine. Um, what the fuck is that squeak? I think it's because we moved. We kind of changed the setup a little bit. It, to most people, it probably looks identical, which it kind of does look very similar. But uh, yeah, no, we moved better. this couch over, and I think it's hitting the, the little wall. Yeah, like I can't move anyways. That won't happen next episode. I think we got to just say that for sure. But guys, this episode, happy Monday. Mondays don't suck anymore. Um, we really just wanted to film it. Just give Josh an introduction. Give you guys... He, he doesn't even need an introduction. That's why I try not even do, like, nothing crazy. Because you know who he is. You knew who he was before <laughs> you knew who I was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't need all that. Like, I'm just so happy that you're a part of La Plantica. You, something that, you know, I care so much about. And La Plantica is going to be something even even bigger now. Better. Obviously, now it's even better. Um, I cannot party. wait to the things that we have in store for you guys. Consistency. That is literally like, I want a sandwich that tastes like consistency right now because I good. love that taste. Hey, send me some. Send me some. I love the taste of consistency. And that's where you come in. I'm going to come in. <laughs> I'm coming in hot so, and consistent. Guys, consistency is key. Consistency with anything in life brings you everything that you want positivity consistency brings positivity into your life and i cannot wait for that because that's going to bring so much opportunities for the whole podcast for everybody back at home for us i cannot wait once again thank you for accepting the the one billion dollar <laughs> that was a lot of money bro that's that's a lot of money, yeah. no, it was a sick ass signing bonus yeah, sick -ass signing wild. bonus. yeah. Hey, man, just, just, <laughs> um no but seriously josh as as yeah, i know you're my friend and we've known each other for years but thank you so much because bro I'm so excited to do this. Yeah. Um, we're excited for next week to like see what we can do. Yeah. Maybe add some like Josh flavor in we're here. We put a little Galo back here. We put a little Galo. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I think you can see him there. He goes right next to the Elmo. You can see the Galo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you don't know Galo, Josh Lay with Galo. Go on YouTube. Self explanatory. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> yeah. No. Or don't. <laughs> or do. It's everyone's fave. Um, Thank you guys back at home. Seriously, happy Monday. Enjoy the rest of your guys' yes. week. And when are we going to see them again? Every Monday, baby. Every we're not Monday. Miss a Monday. And keep us we accountable. Miss, yeah, keep us accountable. But they don't have to because we're going to do they it. They don't have to. They don't have to. And if we miss a Monday, the next time we go on, Josh ain't going to be there because he's going to be dead. D-E-D. D-E-A-D. -E I was going to say, you're like, next time we miss, I was like, that's not going to happen because I'll it's not. be dead. And then I realized that you knew that. I'd yeah, be you're going to be dead. And then it's going to go back to square one where it's just me by myself. Yeah. And uh, so now let's keep it up. We're, dude, I, I'm not, I don't want to miss, bro. I want Let's make a blood pact right here, right now, that at least to the end of this year, 2022, we will not miss a Monday. Because I'd be dead if we didn't. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. So we can't miss a Monday. Blood Oath, you guys saw it here first. Thank you. Love that, man. So I was, I'm, I'm excited, bro. I'm, me, I'm me super, too. super excited. Uh, and uh, thank you to everybody who, yeah. who's been so great in like accepting me and being a part of this. And um, 
I'm excited, man. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful. You're perfect. I feel so lucky. I told him on Instagram stories, like, I can talk to talk to you guys about, like, how I'm feeling, but, like, i just rather say it here. Yeah. Um, we love you. Y nos vemos en la próxima plática. Yes, sir. Adios. Every Monday. Every Monday, baby. Can I push the button? Go ahead. You know it's the green one. It's the green one? It's the green one, baby. It's a beautiful green button. Estás escuchando la plática. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Best Latin podcast in the world. You heard it here first, baby. <laughs>